is the Ridged Outdoors. This is gonna be a quick update to uh, just making another kind of type of mask. It's gonna be real similar. I made the cloth a little bit bigger, or like pre-cut it. I'm gonna add these, these are called uh, cord stops. So I'm gonna add this to, to it so I don't have to worry about tying the 550 cord. Um, you can cut your 550 cord to the length that you want. But real quick, I'm just gonna do this one real quick. These are uh, about eight inches by nine inches. So just fold it over and we're, go we're going to sew it inside out. Halfway done already, so cool. I'm just gonna fold, fold this over, leaving enough room where you can kind of easily get some cordage through there. Kind of pick what we want as our front here. Kind of with the bear on there, but he's cut off. Might look kind of weird with a random turkey on there. I don't know. Okay, we'll call that good. More so when I can. So here's the final product. It fits pretty good. Um, like I said, the barrel lock's a little pain to get on there. If you can find a little bit bigger ones, probably be ideal. But just once again, real quick, these are about eight inches by nine inches. All you have to do is fold it in half, sew that, and then you, you'll you know tuck it in for right side out, I guess. And then when it comes to the back side, just flip this over, leave enough room on your stitch so you can easily get your 550 cord or whatever you're using through there. Once that's through both ends, you can slide your barrel lock on or you can just tie it in a knot. Um, and then you can, you know, singe the edges of your 550 cord and trim off all your, all your loose ends. So thanks for watching and I'm on a new camera now so hopefully uh, the, the audio and visual doesn't look too bad. So let me know in the comments what you think and we'll see you next time. Thanks.